All right, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do the rear shock replacement on a 2007 Honda Odyssey. Now, this should apply to the other ones. This should be pretty similar um, from previous models. Now, depending on the strut you have, we have the through bolts. These are so easy to replace. Um, I mean, trust me, this, this will save you a few hundred dollars on doing this yourself. So, first thing what you need to do is put a wheel chuck on the front and rear of the wheel um, before doing anything. Now, what you can do is jack it up from right here on this. And if you need to, you can put a jack stand right over there where the pinch weld is. So right here, you got a couple pinch welds. This will, you put your, your jack stand right there. I do not recommend to jack it up from here. Um, this is not a proper jacking up point. This is only a lift up point with the post. But if you need to, worst case scenario, you can jack it up there. Um, it's just over time these guys get destroyed and they get weakened over time so it'll it'll weaken up the metal right there all right so next thing what we're going to need we're going to need a 14 millimeter so we're going to take off one two so this is a nut and then we're going to take off this bolt and those both are 14 millimeter so we don't really have to take off the wheel i hope yet so coming up on this other side right here under it, uh, we are gonna take off this 17 millimeter. All right. And then we're just gonna pull this guy back. I hope. If it doesn't come out from there, uh, we'll just probably go on top and just kind of wiggle it out from right here. So if anything, you can get like a little pry bar or a flathead or whatever. I'm just kind of using a wrench because that's like the quickest thing near me. All right, cool. So the wheel actually kind of drops down a little bit. So um, we probably are going to need something to lift up the wheel. And then this guy hopefully should slide right out. Definitely not. Where's the pry bar? Let me get a pry bar. <coughs> All right, so just gonna kind of pry it from right here. Are these a bolt? No. So I went up on top and I pushed down the shock just to kind of help out. So I collapsed it. Um, if you need to, let's say probably that would be probably the best one is just try to like get this collapsed and pry it at the same time. But this thing is like so worn out, like it's like leaking as you can see it. All right, so while still keeping in the strap, what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna kind of bring this in like that. And then I'm gonna push up just a little bit. It might collapse so just like how it did right now. And then I'm gonna pull the shock down as much as possible. And then I'm just gonna kind of finesse it down. I think that would be like the little tip just to kind of get the shock in and out is to kind of have it compressed. Now these guys aren't gonna have a lot of pressure, so it should be no problem. Let that go up. And then we're gonna put in our bolt. Now for the little cut piece, the little um, kind of where it kind of covers that little piece, how you can see it kind of indentates. So 
the little one that kind of covers like that, that's going to actually go towards the, the shock. Tightened out down to torque specs. Don't know it, but it doesn't take that much torque, whatever. So figure that out. All right, so now to get this guy right on, let's see. That's just about as far as we're gonna get it. So gonna kind of lift up on the wheel using my leg. If you need to, you can jack it. I just use my leg in the sense to lift it up. Or if you need to, to get this side up. Just kind of pry like right there. Get a couple threads in. You need to wiggle it in. That should be fine, and then we should be good from there. And then that's pretty much it. Um, and you should be on the road, so this video helped you out give it a thumbs up comment down below if you have any questions and hit that subscribe button for more upcoming videos in the future and thanks for watching